You know, we talked about Marcus Carr and his road woes. You know, if he plays the point guard position like he's capable, he'll get shots for folks just like that. Matt Painter told us today he would love to get Robbins on the bench early in this one. Guy who's had at least four fouls in half of their games this year. Johnson fighting down low and gets the lay-in. But somehow figured out a way to get it to go down. Williams gets his men in the air, had it blocked away, and he was out of bounds. There's Robbins, the double team comes. Now in the corner, Williams hits the three. So Trey Williams, first start of the year. Ivy has it knocked away. Uh, the difficulty for Purdue is to recognize whoever is taking his place out there, they don't have to be Stavadovich. They have to play themselves. And that's why we see Purdue looking a little bit different right now. Zach Eady having all kinds of trouble in there, but able to maintain possession. Now stole it away from behind. Good defense from Johnson. And Johnson through the lane. Trying to get it inside to Williams. Stolen away, and here comes Carr. That just over three minutes of game time. And from now, we'll take you through the entire day at Big Ten, including an awfully impressive performance by Penn State as Trey Williams hit. And how about scoring 50 points in a half? 33-26, uh, but he'll certainly take it as Thompson did a good job knocking down the free throws. And now Robbins gets free. Well, if you're not shooting the ball well, you got to do that and continue to get to the free throw line. Another double-double for Williams. His fourth in the last five games. Johnson down low to Robbins who gets it to go. Through the lane, Carr can't get it to go, gets his own rebound and puts it in. So Marcus Carr, first points of the game. And you see the look on his face? He knows it's going to come. He knows he'll get his points. Williams blocked away by the Big Ten's shot-blocking leader, Liam Robbins. Now presented by Auto Owners Insurance. And now Curry trying to answer on the other end, and he does. The rebound to Kalsher. Mashburn hits the three. Inside Robbins, down low, Johnson throws down the jam. How good this Purdue program will be going forward. They're feeling really good about right now, though. The 13-point lead. Does Minnesota have a response? Robbins, good quick move, and it'll go to the line. So we've had the missed dunk into a three. And the banked three, Mashburn, a more conventional three for Minnesota. For the Boilers, a 21 to 7 edge of second chance points. Robbins can't get it to go. Back up with it, and he will again go to the free throw line.